Trigenis had been quiet all this time, but I had seen that his feelings were even stronger than those of the vicar. He sat with a tired white face looking at Holmes, and he was holding his hands very tightly together. His body was shaking, and it seemed to show the shock he had had seeing what had happened to his family. Ask what you like, Mr. Holmes, he said. I don't like thinking about it, but I will tell you what happened. Tell me about last night. Well, Mr. Holmes, I had dinner there, as the vicar told you, and then my elder brother George suggested that we play a game of cards. We sat down at about nine o'clock. It was a quarter past ten when I decided to go. I left them all round the table, and they seemed to be very happy. I shut the doors behind me and saw that the window of the room in which they were was closed, but the curtains were open. There was no change to the door or the window this morning, nor any reason to think that any stranger had been to the house. Yet there they sat, my brothers mad, and Brenda, who had died of fright. I'll never forget what I saw in that room as long as I live. The facts as you tell them to us are very strange, said Holmes. I guess that you have no idea what happened to them. The devil must have made it happen, Mr. Holmes, cried Mortimer Tregenis. Something got into that room which has made them mad. What human thing could do that? I fear, said Holmes, that if the matter is not caused by a human, then I will not be able to solve it. But we will try. It seems, Mr. Tregenis, that you were separated from your family in some way, since they lived together and you lived with the vicar. That is right, Mr. Holmes, though the matter is forgotten now, we used to live at Redruth, but we sold our business to a bigger company so that we would have enough money for us all to live without working. It was true that there were some problems dividing the money between us, and so we were not friendly to each other for a while, but we soon forgot about the disagreement and we became friends again. Thinking about the evening you spent together, do you remember anything unusual? Think carefully, Mr. Tregenis, for any clue which can help me. There is nothing at all, sir. Your family acted the same as they always do? Yes, they did. Did they seem worried about anything? Any danger? No. You have nothing to tell me, then, which could help me? Mortimer Tregenis thought hard for a moment. There is one thing, he said at last. As we sat at the table, my back was to the window, and my brother George was facing it. I saw him once look out of the window for a long time. So I turned round and looked also. The curtains were open and the window shut, but I could just see something moving among them. I couldn't see if it was a man or an animal, but I just thought there was something there. When I asked him what he was looking at, he told me that he had seen something but he did not know what. That is all I can say. Did you not try and find out if anything was there? No, 
we did not think it was really important. So, when you left them, you did not have any idea that anything might happen to them? None at all. I do not understand how you heard of the news of what had happened so early this morning. I always get up early and usually take a walk before breakfast. This morning I had just started on my walk when the doctor rushed past me. He told me that old Mrs. Porter, their maid, had asked him to go to the house as quickly as possible. When we got there, we looked into that terrible room. They must have been sitting there in the dark until the morning came. The doctor said that Brenda must have been dead for at least six hours. There were no signs of a fight or anything like that. She was just lying back in the chair dead. George and Owen were singing parts of songs and making noises like animals. Oh, it was terrible to see. The doctor and I both went white. In fact, he fell into a chair in a sort of faint, and so we had to take him out as quickly as possible. Strange, very strange said Holmes, rising and taking his hat. I think perhaps we should go to Tredenic Wartha now.